Yeah, welcome back. And yes, we're trying as much as possible to revive the theatre industry as well. And I think that is the right way to go. Interesting conversation there with Johnny and, of course, the team from National Theatre. And I remember uh, Mr. Semivor so much. I mean, he speaks the same way he acts as well. And was just bringing back some pleasant memories. Now, let's move on to our next conversation on New Day Today. When Franco Usu was sentenced to the Anchor Four prison in 2008 for murder, the thought of not being able to have sex with his wife, Florence, haunted him. Now, Florence as well was torn between being promiscuous for we or waiting, actually, for her husband. In the following story, Florence and Frank tell the story of how they battled homosexuality and other crimes in the absence of their partners. Frank also served as a bodyguard for an MP in 2008. During the period, he was attacked by a mob in his master's house and in his defense, ended up killing one of the attackers. He was arrested, charged for murder and sentenced to 15 years in prison until he was given a remission later. His then fiancée, Florence Owusu, was just 24 years and carrying a nine-month-old baby when Frank Owusu was sentenced. For 10 years, she was torn between choosing one of the numerous suitors, waiting on his love and the sacrifice of friendship. I nearly gave up. A friend even advised me to move on. But how did Florence satisfy his sexual desire during her man's 10 years in jail? I told myself that I was going to wait for him because of our baby. Unlike other countries where prisoners are allowed to have sex with their spouses, there are no such rights in Ghana. Florence was encouraged by family not to give up, hoping for a reduction of sentence, which finally came after 10 years. Ex-convict Frank was at the Ankafu prison annex for 10 years. He revealed homosexuality is rife in Ghana's prisons because of the lack of opportunities to have sex with their legitimate partners. No child can enter prison and come out a virgin. When the young men are brought to prison, their families do not visit contributing to the high cases of sodomy. Frank accused prison wardens for the many ills in prison, including selling drugs. We is very common in prison. The main providers are the prison wardens. Currently, Ghana's prisons, which is supposed to house 9,945 prisoners, now takes over 15,000 prisoners, which puts the overcrowding rate in our prisons to 52.87%. Central Regional Public Relations Office of the Ghana Prison Service, DSP Daniel Machato claims overcrowding has contributed to homosexuality in Ghana's prisons. For someone who has lived in incarceration for long and has the luxury of a bed, to use a sleeping space as a batter to engage in a sexual act with his fellow prisoner, it is possible. He was, however, quick to add that non-custodial sentences of which a bill is currently before Parliament and the contribution by society cannot be underestimated. These prisoners are in prison with a certain tag, in hard labor. In hard labor means that the prisoner is supposed to be working to support the state at no cost. But 15,000 prisoners, most of them serving sentences tagged in hard labor, who are sleeping for free, they are fed for free. Human rights activists continue to push for conjugal rights in countries like Australia, Brazil, Denmark and Canada where conjugal visits are allowed for inmates to spend time with their legal spouses in designated rooms or structures provided for that purpose. The rationale for conjugal visits in jurisdictions where they are permitted as to preserve family bonds and facilitate reintegration into society when inmates complete their sentences. And for Ghana, it could reduce sodomy and lesbianism to help reduce the spread of HIV and AIDS. But how interested are MPs to push this agenda? All right, thank you so much. Adobia, Ajua Adobia actually was the one who put together this report. And in the studios, I have an ex-convict, Frank Owusu, who was in the report as well. He spent, what, about 10 years? I mean, Joe Frank, it's saying. 
Okay, for the sake of, you know, this interview, we might have to mix English with cheese. So please do pardon us. But I'll try and explain a few of the things along the line. Until now, we're hot 10 years. What? Uh, what? Mm, 2000 and... 2009. Nine. Now, I'm going to say I'll for 15. Uh, the, so we deal with 10 years now. Mm. Oh, there, sir. What the furniture is, we should be here. We have remission five years, one mm. waffle. Now we try ten years. Ah, until we now we under good behavior. Until now, that means what the furniture will catch them. Okay, but yeah. the first time now, Ray, you know, the first few weeks, you no, know, now how was it like? Situation, you know, the same way inside. Okay, first prison, you know, it's easy. But as you see, I don't feel no more go to crack. The reason why I miss you know, it's in there. Most people, you know. Dam anka fa na so no blog na ye tre. Okay. Ba na ye demo mo zbe 800 and something. 800 and something. Three blocks. Na naturally no one block na we say find ko fa hin. Wa fa ka sa ran ko tumo fa be. Nimpa be 30. 30. Eh ba ye waka go eh blog wo no mu wal. Mm. Ono fa be 100 am feed on on say bi biara. Okay. But I want that time na won bo maximum. Mm. I want to be overcrowded, but I can remind you one day. If you want to be a bad person, you say, boy, I want to be a hit to me. Wow. I follow you. And what the man all about checking, and the people work on him. Okay. And what the man all about checking, and the people are working on him. Mm-hmm. Man, for me, for Danny, I'm going to be a bad person. And Sana, we're to me a room. We're to me a room. We're to me a room. But now Crawford for she shemu and your heat, you know. Yeah. Okay, so he's just explaining to us what the situation was like in the beginning when he entered, and he mentioned that he was at the annex, and so in the beginning it was a very difficult situation for him, especially because of the issue of overcrowding. So at the annex, it was housing about eight hundred people in three blocks. When naturally, at least one block or one room should take about thirty people, with another bigger block um, which should take about hundred people. But then it took more than that, and so if you can imagine. Imagine 800 people in three blocks. That's quite extreme. And the heat uh, that plagued them in that room was very, very unbearable. I mean, if they had to count them every morning, the prison guard would have to stand outside uh, to allow some fresh air into the room before he enters to count them. Now, um, you know, it's the overcrowded. No, aside that, no. Udru Honum, what was the situation like amongst Mbemano? Because Omunkwa no Mushewa, not just a unya chance in who or family members aside normal visits, no. Uh, maybe I wanted the end to me in your chance and come with yourself because one, what are tumbler? Mhm. Number and I know I better than I know I better. And to be better, yell ye be our measures, be better than the down. Okay. Papa. Dem time ni edi guar, dem time ni edi didi, dem time ni edi. And the and the chairman says, "Anopa, say you know what's what's the time like?" Anopa say Anopa no, what bo six o'clock? Mhm. Bo 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 ya bo no. Mhm. Na night phone no, wa ko ne eli phone na be check on. Ah, okay. Nti one wa wa be check na we bo yen for the yonko bichu yensi. Mhm. Yonko hu yini ni mnyanya sanamla. Nti ya ba damana main. Men for no bed and Wababa. On Wababa seven o'clock, I bear Paragina at the office in Yalebubi. And to why yet one damn Paragin Rina and our son so walking and see Tamo would be in the uncle winning me the bed you cocoa. Okay, said you cocoa and a pabe six. Six a.m. Cocoa, cocoa nedding. Oh, cocoa and a ring count. Huh? Cocoa and a ring count. Wow. Bro don't count. Oh, Pano be a lang count. Okay, okay. You carry on. What the cook no more than that? I bought coke. I went inside now. I bought some soda. Seven seven thirty. Now I said I bought check on many beam. Next we buy and there. You know, be around on any free space down from that. Okay. What about eleven? I did yen rational. What about eleven? I let do already. Okay. The balance we bought check two. Uh huh. Yeah, the cook na. I bought the beer beam two. No, I be unkwan. Okay. But when I be unkwan, Papa be ala. Anya Papa. Ah, inshallah. And I'm woman. Oh, what a catastrophe we have been a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what we have unkwan no more anya. Ah, unkwan no, we have done anya. Wow. Be unkwan no, so we do baby or you do baby anya. But we didn't say because. Any option be a be ala be kredi. 
Okay. And the will be able to do that. Fine, there are any problem, but they need she there, boy. Not just a who at the beginning, now I think I will get you used to the place. No, only choice. Eh, it's a bad, nobody bad. I am no query as you do here. I mean, maybe she have no support him that time. I'm papa or we do not know one pension. Mm. But pay a living or a S living. Okay. It's not or we do not mean tonight in your mouth. You're then Oba. It's not wow, okay. I will new be able to. I did the meds by need. Mm. I sana survive. Wow. Okay. And see, who did the eleven? Now, then, what time again? I did the eleven. Now, we we be check at three thirty. Uh huh. Now, me no phone while boko. Oh. Okay. Office ni yalo botu. Now, we ask so why then? We ask a clerk and offer. I did no. Me ye be di ayin. Huh? On the day no ye be di na ma. And check or ye six eleven. Three. Then you won't eat again. Dabi, 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 dabi. Nah, okay. What time do you go back into the cells uh, for. Okay, remind us in the walk or the. Why all walk home five o'clock? Okay. Nah, convince them. Walk home five thirty. Five thirty. Into about thirty minutes extra. Uh -huh. Okay. Nah, that's okay. Na wa komo. Okay. Na uye new and so and I'm focused on the new because I know say it's difficult to you know get used to the situation there. And say who who near down for e wo hono ma. Why na be ko for you like you know. Matasi. Uh huh. Eh. Please no say a woman. Uh huh. Oh then ah your wadi bu wo wo for we inside wo fun there. We wo abe matching tourists. Okay. Say a question be or you good in the same year, cry. About two warmer like in your yammer comfortable, cacra. The question be a sabbia, another one back, will be a machine. On a dono, on Quanan or Bajina, or the Maggi. Would you go? Nan chin, we will put on. Yeah. Now, I had an abundant so time. We wish after Baba Baba Slow and Sunday, a better summer, I had it. As a simple. But autumn, um, bringing ya so aya on a young two for blame of ma, what a fun too much, yeah. But was time and I'm a more honor, uh, 2010. Mm hmm, Muko and I need the 60 pesos, okay. 60 pesos a day, I had the whole day, 60 pesos, 60 pesos a day, damnot per prisoner. Uh -huh. I mean, but they am at 60 pesos. Wow, we're prison, we're all nine, ten. Na uh Ankata uh young president I said we when you baby queen. Now go for the currency. Mm. Uh one city, mm -hmm. eighty pesos. Mm -hmm. And to tell me what to my bed, I'm no I mean the m I mean um cook over the pan or bar and then be one one yeah. bat. And with the time what to the madam why yeah your budget uh baby into one made the banu was answered was because of scanning them but aya mpimp you know what the finance over by outside the wallet can aya no heading because it's a actually institution in a why and why the wall pull what they are my or some more item or they would okay so be able to defend in a juma and some bamba kare the banning yet now been being kare said we are one as no heading a banning fido. Okay. It's one to manka. All right. Because anka for unless them prison anka sanka sanka sanu. And the government tome nenyo ya den. Tome nenyo ko ho. Reason in the ndulumba, shemba, malamu wa demu kwa mensha ni ni mala bane bongo na nam. Yeah, you were limping. Yes. Ah, nyada manoti. You weren't like that before. Dabi dabi demu kita mo normal structure. Nsa me ya dema MP bilamba fami na mukodi nchi. Mhm. Me yebeni na na me jina wa yonde jina manano ye. Oh, you got hit? Oh, you were born at the end of the year. Oprah. Yes. You were born at the end of the year. You were born at the end of the year. Because one car was born at the end of the year. Now, one car was born at the end of the year. Yeah. That was born at the end of the year. My colleague was born at the end of the year. So, I was born at the end of the year. I was born at the end of the year. I was born at the end of the year. I was born at the end of the year. I was born at the end of the year. That's a prison you yala. I don't prison you know. What the what channel? Ma, can we be able to be alive? Wow. Wow. 
I was just trying to understand the situation inside prison, and he was talking about, you know, uh, the kind of food that they are served. They eat at 6 a.m., then at 11 a.m., and 3.30 is when they have their last meal. And at 6, they have porridge with nothing, no bread, nothing. And then, uh, you know, he also described the kind of food they ate, which was really not um, as delicious as what we would have, which is expected, by the way. Now, he also mentioned that he's limping now, and that was as a result of an injury that he got inside prison. And and unfortunately, uh, the health officials did not attend to him as early as possible. And that led to him being a bit deformed um, for life. But anyways, we're zooming in to the conjugal rights and why he is one of the advocates for the, um, you know, the passage of that law in order to grant prisoners the opportunity to have sexual intercourse with their legal partners. Justice Emil Schultz, who is the former commissioner of Shraj, is one person who's been at the forefront of this discussion, asking for us um, to make it legal for prisoners to enjoy such rights. And so let's take a look at that. It's still the new day. We'll come back and ask him more questions about why he's pushing for that. There are two schools of thought. One school of thought is that when a convict is sentenced to prison, only the convict's right to personal liberty is taken away, and that all other human rights remain. And therefore, uh, the convict should be entitled to enjoy, you know, conjugal rights. The other viewpoint is that conjugal rights is like a privilege, and therefore, um, when you are convicted and sentenced to prison, it is not automatic that you should enjoy conjugal rights. There are compelling reasons why conjugal rights must be respected. One, they promote rehabilitation of prisoners in the sense that um, if a prisoner is allowed to have contact, social contact with his wife, it's likely that the prisoner can re be reintegrated into society. And one of the major reasons for imprisonment is not only punishment, retribution, but it's also rehabilitation. So if you look at it from that angle, then there is good reason why um, conjugal rights should be respected. The second reason is that when you deny conjugal rights, you're also punishing the spouse, the other spouse, who is an innocent victim in the offense which has been committed. You know, so to preserve the marriage and the relationship, it is, it is um, arguable that for that reason alone, conjugal rights should be respected. Because over the years, you know, we have complained about prison conditions, the overcrowding, which has led to skin diseases and um, inadequate feeding allowance as well as inadequate medical facilities, you know. Apart from the issue of sodomy, there is also the fact that homosexuality develops. The law is silent in Ghana. I mean, <laughs> the law doesn't, our law doesn't expressly address the issue of conjugal, conjugal rights, to my knowledge. Basically, a human rights issue, and so you have to argue it on the basis of uh, respect for human rights. Um, it, it, um, it could be a policy or a regulation issued out to the prison service. Government can consider the matter and uh, discuss it with the prison service and, and all other stakeholders and then decide that um, it would introduce the policy of uh, granting prisoners conjugal rights. But as I said, there are many challenges, you know, which have to be addressed, you know. So you have to look at the problem in a holistic manner look at the overcrowding, look at the inadequate feeding allowances, the inadequate health facilities, and um, the, uh, the inadequate space for implementing 
you know, conjugal rights and the resource constraints in addressing all these challenges. So I think if you look at the problem in, in a holistic manner, uh, government should be able to see how best it could address the problem, and particularly the issue of sodomy as well as uh, homosexuality. So the implementation of non-custodial sentencing is long overdue, and it will have a beneficial effect on the overcrowding in the prisons, and will address some of these issues also. And that was Justice Emil Short, former commissioner of Shraj, explaining why there's a need for us to have a law that allows conjugal rights um, to prisoners. And in the studios, I still have with me ex-convict Frank Owusu, and he would explain to us why he's also advocating for that. Um, this conversation, by the way, is in three, and I'll try and explain as we move on. Iti, siti a yenka e conjugal rights you want him. Uwa hono na o siye mao opportunity se o wife eno obe... A best hour on no best shape be a cry at least because we are married man into war on a not we are now manage say who drew some points and I say it be a opposite we need ya oh managing the same a cool situation be my I have situation now to me or done or crap but was one well answer some number to know one the pressure mm-hmm now some of our brain wife have a fair Pressure woman to me, yeah, be a lot. Mm. Because I didn't know it. Oh, yeah, oh, the major money. Yeah. And see, or be swagging him. Mm-hmm. Or boy, boom, there, normal, or be a yet snow, or a yard. Yeah, a bonk, a bonk. But you won't, you didn't feel. Oh, well, oh, ah. Be to my boy, green him, though, in Minya and Canada, occasion be. Mm -hmm. Our time we partners, eh, when we yeah. the more is up We prisoner. Mm -hmm. We are going to to my We are damn TV. Yeah, you are born a You You are You are born a You are born a You are born a You are born Oh, then I need probably why during the moment. But and yet easy, sir, because maybe I say we say no pressure that was on tea. But Obi Wahoa, as much as pressure one you hold on, on person or Jin and Nikaka. And I say, I'm bare man, quite sure. And then I can say homosexuality increasing. Oh, I don't know. I'll call you a prison. I just say, I'm not a tsunami or snobby. In time, I'm a man, 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 but now, on your easy day, boom, but an allegation. Oh, into what on when who be that? Oh, I bet I know what you call from on one about. What say you don't walk the moon and you put out with some no so I am quite, I am quite, I am quite a product some to move away on your more some. Maybe you should go to a product or one of the I am not prison for the baby. Yeah, okay. Now, who say no, a big cow that we have been paying will be out beyond Canada or being so and try that my mook will prison the meaning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In Kuala Lumpur, now. Mm -hmm. Only a one. Yeah. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. Now, uh, 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 in Sonna Damano, on whom Quanet on Ompe, in the boy will go out. What the match at? Will go reach a seventy years, forty five life. In Jama, the mean panel on Oasis, yeah. Oasis, baby, don't go too wide and wide, the Papa Pamo. Okay. Obey the Papa Pamo for some times. But I was so new that. Eh, and come on, you be the Nebua, or go too warm. Said what to we are, man, or did the banana or the bed or the bad? I'll be so but to walk a rabia or put on on oil and on oil, them so do mean just so that you can also get some advice. Maybe I pick the bed and obey ammo. It is a one penny. I'm pretty no problem. Yellow no, I'm on board because one who dare leave your poor, what will be working what prison war. Oh, really? Prison for nags, one who dare. Oh, yeah, because I wonder, you know, coach, I know, okay, it's yellow, madam. It's why though. Be but how do the prison guards also handle it? So, what to say, be an eye at you, be say, 
I do all you inside near prison uh, service. No, we were one or the standing orders be out your bar or so. I bow bachelor, I buy inside prison. I am an image for Nanga say a bachelor. The high and pecono, young pecon, young person do me. Okay, young pecon, the catcher, young over catcher. Okay, I am broad ball. Ah, chief for the no assigners. Okay, okay. And this is a commenter. No punishment. Mm. Oh, I did a bomb. I proud of a moment. Be my way. Okay, so a home so I know I see pay, pay, pay. I don't see a day. I put you under my canvas. So be no be what part of the madden will be no your border. Sound of a more white will be our will be a what's it that the madden no corner of them. Pay, 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 pay. No, be a to be an attention buckle. No, your pro, but we pro, pro, be a pro, or you didn't sound. But who believe it's saying that you are a lawyer and ma married people and your separate time with your wife? I don't know if I find too much. I don't know what you're saying. Because prison now, I'm a man who's been a lawyer. 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 Or walk my pa or Jandachi. Mm. But so been in shots and yet near me. Exactly. And so do baby and you put on shots out, but to widen. Was well. But no, in your um, case, your wife stayed with you. Uh -huh. oh. I'm the McCare, the luckiest man. Mm. So two more channel me. Yeah. See your good say, your bobbleno. On your easy moment, the bats. Not easy. So I'm just going to try and, and you know explain a bit of what he mentioned. So we're talking about the fact that he didn't have any rights, just like every other prisoner, to have a separate time or a private time with his wife, um, you know, for sexual intercourse. And the reason for him was the fact that there was too much pressure uh, the moment he got into prison, and also there were some activities that kept the prisoners occupied. So it was almost impossible uh, most of the time to think of having sexual intercourse with your partner, and so that's what sustained him. However, sodomy and homosexuality really does exist in the prisons and you know when they hear of such acts they either uh, some of the prisoners get injured as a result and you know there's a strict rule um, you know by the prison wardens to prevent that from happening and so you are uh, guided by those rules in order to stay away from that kind of trouble and when you hear pray 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 it means that it's probably about to happen and so everybody's attention goes there but he thinks that it's necessary for the law to be passed in order to grant prisoners the conjugal rights and that's because it helps to sustain relationships and marriages a lot of people lost their spouses and their partners as a result of being jailed and not being given the chance to have that private moment with them into you will tell you know government officials right now said they should go ahead and pass that law mm -hmm. yeah yeah mm prison -hmm. yeah the whole Ghana yan headquarters no if say in the Ghana brother i want to na Ghana brother so on your piano sabi when you know one train was school there maybe a day and a day and say, but to my from blacks anytime we have a prison war. Yeah. Anytime we are. And see, so what did I remember about? Or Bob Wami, or Bob Wowie, or Bob Wobi Biara, or your gun in Yibia. But last question, Kofo Kase, prison, Nakasa, there are so many issues. Overcrowding, A1, health issue, A, another one. And in Yoma Bibri, you're solving a new way, and I have a sexual rights once. So are we not losing focus? Oh, and with that. You to me, you can carry a loose focus. Okay, was I do or one bantam? My friend, Paul, you want me on what you will be Paul or Babu one bantam, so I choke to be in the bottom of another program or parody. Mhm. Over two other pump, be be alone. No, no, I bet you, I bet you, bra. All right. Well, man. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, at the right time, we'll have a discussion on other issues as well. He seems very passionate about the health conditions in the prisons and also if there are any training courses for prisoners as well. But time will not allow us to go deep into details. And so we'll bring you back another time to discuss all that. But Franco Wusu is an ex-convict uh, who's pushing for the passage of the rights for, um, you know, sexual activities between prisoners and their spouses. And we're waiting to see what will come out of this conversation and also, um, you know, from this push. But anyways, it's still TV3 New Day.